very effective. So here we are. So you see the, the everything. Hey. Yes. Yep. Are you? I see it. I see it perfectly. We're, we're just heading off to the uh, to the island with this guy because we lured him with the uh, fireflies in the jar. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. Egad? Uh, I don't know what's to say. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will never again dare that wretched fog without a compass. Once too often did I tempt fate. And just look what it did to my clothes. Just look at me. I'm soaked. Well, you know, I just happen to have a compass right here. Then, poor mortal, I will show you the way. Rough seas and untold dangers await you on the mysterious Skull Island. I'm not afraid. You will be. You will be. You will be. Hey, it's, not, it's a Star Wars reference. You will be. You will be afraid. It's uh, when Luke gets inside the dark. Even dark the side bravest thing. of men and must Dagobah. dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of. Skull Island! That's a duck! What are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. <laughs> you see, you, you gotta squint. Yep, sort of Duck Island head. would be much more fitting. Ooh, it's just so scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Who well, this? anyway. See that light up there on the cliff face? <laughs> that smuggler's cave. It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Cruff. But how do I get up there? You have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will you be must go alone to Mount Doom. Doom. Beware I think it's uh, another uh, Star Wars reference. He is as ruthless as he is bald. Good luck. Thanks. So did he say as ruthless as he is bald? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumb waiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. No. Never used it before. But no. I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Ronbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's Lafoot. 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 As you only have a. He's missing a foot, yep. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's yeah. cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You you must weigh no more than, say, you 20 won't. pounds, right? Actually, more like 120. Oh. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this. Oh, yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Whoops! Okay, that's too much slack. Ah! So, what do you think we need to do? Umbrella. Of course. You, you saw Donna. You, you saw. Uh, the, the coyote. I, listen, I saw Mary Poppins. I, I know what to do when you're falling. Or um, the Looney Tunes. So, your choice. Um, okay. I like this one. So, so much money. Yeah. Stuff. 
I have I've got so much, so yeah, that one. Money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, oh, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that one. The really long one. I don't know how to fucking pronounce that, Van but that one. Yeah. Jethro Van Gorder Fassenton. Very well, Mr. Threepwood. What? Hey, how did you know my... It is my business to know who enters and leaves Skull Island. I am King Andre, and this is my associate, Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. LeChuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <sighs> Please? Sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate or pirate in trading could possibly want is here for the right price. <laughs> Which one? Uh... Could you, uh, yeah, could you not like, like, could you not could you laugh, laugh like that, that anymore? anymore? The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. Uh... Is that diamond belong in the museum? Maybe we could... Yeah, that one. That diamond belongs, diamond belongs to the museum. museum. So do post-impressionist paintings, Mr. Threepwood. So do post-impressionist paintings. What the heck is that supposed to mean? One day, you will understand. Hmm, is it foreshadowing of something? Uh... Maybe. Uh, maybe we could look, maybe we could make maybe a we deal. Could make a deal. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood. But it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Um, no. How much you got? Well, let me think. Uh, the cash on me, my mutual fund, carry the two, very little. That As I too. thought, but perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards, uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes, fair. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fair. Could you That's not foreshadowing. Me? It's very unnerving. So, Mr. Threepwood, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. You will have to pay uh -oh. to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. I don't have any money. Then you can't play. What if by some unfortunate turn of luck, you happen to lose? We would have nothing to gain. Oops. Mm, oh, do we wouldn't we have wooden nickels? Nah, nah, I have a golden tooth. We better. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. My pirate instincts what? tell me I should keep this to my... Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Ah, oh. oh, damn. My pirate instincts tell me... I don't know. I really thought the golden tooth mm. was a good match, but the pirate instinct from the man, the man, the man. You want that? Huh. I don't think he'd like that. The magnet? A part of me is thinking, think oh, like the that. magic wand's gotta be useful again. But I, I know it's not. Like that. I don't think he'd like that. Uh, well, fortunately, the curse ring disappeared. Uh, want uh, the bottle's closed. Um, Ophimus. Yeah, I don't think he'd like. Uh, well, I I really thought it was the. My pirate instincts tell me I. 
and you, you don't have what you need. You want a skeleton arm? I don't think he'd like. Hmm. My party instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Come on. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this. I guess we don't have what we need to play. I guess we don't yet. What do you think we need? Yeah, there are plenty of people who could give them better homes than I ever could. I think he could take me. I couldn't help noticing those adorable smuggle bunnies. Ah, the smuggle bunnies. One of our most popular items. Each one comes with a cleverly hidden pouch just above this small intestine. Great, I'll take one. None of them contains the diamond. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to... Uh, no. How about toys? Like Do you have any toys? Really piratey. Of course. Really piratey things are, of course, our specialty. Can I interest you in a peg leg? Well, that depends on what you do with it. That was a joke. Ah, uh, yes. I don't quite follow you, but I'm sure it was amusing. How about toys? Do you have any toys? As a matter of fact, a new shipment just arrived yesterday. They're sure to be bestsellers. Here, take one. Arg, math be hard. Let's go shopping. You're my favorite sailor. Ahoy there, matey. I'll grind your bones to make me toothpaste. Okay, I'll play you for the diamond. You will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. I don't have any money. Then you can't play. I've earned some money. Okay, I, I don't think we have what we need yet. I think we might have to go back to the island. He's so cute. Aren't you the cutest little thing? I want to be your friend. My name's the Chucky. <laughs> Good one. Set sail for fun. You did it, Le Chucky. I'll infect you with yep, Le Chucky. Your teeth to blackened stumps. Is there anything I can steal? What could have driven that adorable smuggle bunny to seek refuge at the top of a chandelier? It's not that adorable. It's a solid gold picture frame. Well, I suppose when you have this much treasure, you need a lot of chests. I have no idea what that is, but it sure looks expensive. Okay, I don't think we have what we need to play yet. That's very expensive, you know. I'll Are we able to leave the island? Where it is. Hey. Okay. I think we've got to go back to the mainland or the uh the other island. I still say it looks like a duck. Yeah, it looks like a duck. That's Duck Island. Oh. Well, it may be, might be a duck skull, so ducks. Duck Skull Island? You're real, real threatening. Mm. So this is a... Hmm. I still say it looks like a duck. I was wondering if there was something else to do to do with Lafoot. 
but apparently not. What's the difference between flipside and a duck? I still say it looks like a duck. Maybe not put that money. This is a poor cut. I wonder what happened if I don't pull out the umbrella. I mean, pretty sure I won't die. And then just fall. No, I don't, I don't think you'll die. Yes? Let's try that lowering me down the cliff thing again. All right. <laughs> I, I think I'm getting better at this. Please be careful this time. No problem. Here we go. I got it. I got it. I don't, I don't got, got it. it. And he doesn't got it. Like it hurt. The whole crap ribs later. <sighs> oh well. Excuse me. I'd like to go back to Blood Island. Me too. This place gives me the creeps. You're afraid of Doc? Let's go back to the hotel. Let, 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 let's let's go visit them because we need paintings. We need we need to go see if we can't get those nails from the wall. I because I, I, I know we need something over there. I don't know what. If there is money, I guess it could be there. Very well, could be. I guess we need gold piece. Hmm. Hmm. I might have an idea. Whoops. Um, yeah, I think it's the hotel. But um, maybe if we find gold paint, we could like paint those wooden nickel. Maybe. Maybe. Can sell the doll. Hey, you, uh, weird lady, can... you, want, you want the doll? Let's build a sand castle. Land ho, sailor. Let's bury some treasure. I'll rip out your lungs, huh. you swab. It's a nice, neat little Easter egg. Madam Zima, I... Be gone. You will bring death to all who surround you. No good can come of this. That doesn't take wooden nickels. Let's take a look at the drink menu again. I'd like a drink, please. Sure, sure. Well, 
There is no menu. Right, okay. Don't. Okay. There's no menu. Wasn't there? Wasn't like a thing we were flipping through? Yes. Um... How's business? Oh, it's just wonderful. Come on. Now that the volcano's erupting again, the reservations are just pouring in. Can I get some money about that? No. Mm. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Oh, okay, it's a recipe book, okay. Um... Well, that's basically just rum. Because I'm thinking, we have to die, right? Yeah, but we don't have what we need what if... to die. I was gonna say, what if... What if we have to drink ourselves into a coma? Like, is there something we can mix with the grog or something to make to fuck us up? Yes, there is a thing we can mix, but I don't think we can we have it right now. Like it's um some kind of medication if I remember correctly. And I don't know where to get it. Ah mm. look at that. Consume physician. Do not mix with alcohol before parenting rather or maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, didn't he just take a sip of uh, of the uh, of the cure that we gave him? Darn childproof caps! I can't open it. Oh, I, oh! Don't we have a chisel or something to get that off? That opened it. Ah. Okay, so that. So way. I think we mix the head be clear with the grog. That makes the drink. And then that so fucks us up healing. enough to go to the uh yes. to the place where the diamond is, I think. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. It if I were a real person home. instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Skull. Well you were you, you were right. That's by odd. looking at it's the supposed to cause sticky. drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In I'm fact, I, uh, balls. In fact, I feel, uh... <laughs> and he's dead. And he's dead. So then dead. the Undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer. But I couldn't stop coughing. No, 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 oh, I, I'm oh, not dead. Oh, I'm just oh, extremely oh, drowsy. You crack me up, Mort. So, what's with the new guy? Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Hey, that's, out cold. that's the guy around. we freed uh, by taking the pin. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. You well, remember? Him being the main character and all. Funny. Um, uh, I didn't think I'd right, die in right. this arts adventure game. Oh, well, maybe they're trying something gaming. different. When I should take care of him? They're breaking Would the fourth wall. It's bad for business, having him just lie there. Rest in peace and all that. <gasps> That's how you get nail. The end. <laughs> score zero hey. of some. You hey. scored zero to 500 points. 800, it's even worse. I'm not really dead. Oh, come on, cut it out. Oh, meta. So, um, chill. So I think we need to get out of the coffin. So I think we need the, uh, the chisel, perhaps. No, I'm just trying. Is that a good coffin? Ah, oh, it's this coffin. I thought it was the middle one. Yikes. Ah. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. From the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. Uh, no, no you don't. Not yet, anyway.
Ah. Hey, Stan! Phew, I'm glad to be finally out of that thing. Even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. What the well, fuck are his hands there? doing? Hey, it's Stan! The guy uh, I talked from yes, the first well, game who sell of boats. Of course! Guybrush Threepwood! You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. I did. Well, you see, I've been meaning to... No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know? To think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son, but I, live I burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I was uh, aware of that. The not to mention the pirate one. raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating uh, reptiles, dangerous quicksand pits, trigger-happy duelists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... but... Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? Oh, that's that's not uh, it's given me a scary. Whole new perspective on life, a life that I'm going to devote to making sure selling, people's um, life insurance in needs are game. met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. Because in the first game, he's selling boats. If you've been locked in that coffin, how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself: Are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my office. Hmm? We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense. This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. Give me those now. Nice. Oh, I can take it to the bare end. Great. And I think if we go out and then come back in, we will have a set shop. Nope. We should probably go back to the hotel and tell that I guy we're not dead, like eh? Like I said, if we leave and then come back, we... now we are on uh... Oh. You've convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A oh, wise man. choice, and one that's you won't soon you regret. Money. The question isn't whether or not uh, you can afford to buy oh an god, insurance policy, that's, that's, it's uh, whether you can afford not to. Speaking uh, of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Insurance well, how much fraud. Does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, uh, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But oh. I won't bore you with all that, just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these... How much money do you have? I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. Oh, I guess it's a pirate tooth. This authentic pirate relic. Yeah. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. It's truly one of its kind. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. Uh, okay, I will. Prince. Thanks. No, I'm serious. Uh, I, I want forgot to about very, insurance fraud. Will do. Uh. The coffin lid desk is a nice touch. Mm, no. What 
is it about these things that makes them so popular in office settings? Mm, no. Hmm. That's it? Mm, no. File cabinets. I already have a nice skeleton arm, thank you. Uh... Another skeleton arm. That guy was so bloated he burst his coffin. Ooh. I don't want to know what happened here. I wonder where their bodies are. That's a good question. It's a water cooler. Pirates don't drink purified water. No. <laughs> right? Rum only. Pirates keep it hardcore and drink rum, yeah. So, now that I can walk free of stress, and knowing that I can die at any moment, and I, that my next of kin that I don't have, will won't have to worry about money. Oh yeah, I forgot I could double click. Hi guys, I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No Ooh. questions for the dead guy come back to life? They don't no care. questions nope. like, is there life Nobody after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine, be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. Oh. Mm hmm. This entitles the bearer of this document to the sum of a lot of money. A lot of money. Oh yeah, and I have a bunch of mail now. Do that, I can double click now, I know. Don't have to wait for your sorry ass legs. One nail will never be enough to hold down. I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more nails. There, the bed has been nailed down. That ought to do it. Talk to skeleton, of course. Hello? Well, I wouldn't know what to say. Wow. I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. So I have to... Build that, I guess? This won't give me enough leverage to pry those boards off. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't need to be augured. Well, what's a hog it is, anyway? Um... I can't use the mallet with that. Hmm. Your crowbar? Let's read this book. The Good Soups, A Life in Pictures by M.M. M. Good Soup. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the Good Soup family. And it says I'll receive a new book every month, or cancel with no obligation, and keep my copy of Buccaneers and Bouillabaisse Bays as a free gift. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the Good Soup family. Hmm. Mutual of Stan, because you could die horribly at any moment. It's even laminated. I was wondering if you couldn't do that again. Ugh. Okay. I can barely see out of that mask. Ew. We have a nice book. We have a dead guy in the bed. Or that I can't open. I can double click to change scene, but I 
can double pick. Faster. I don't want to break the window. But I want to break the window. Um. Well, I can't use the book with that. Why not? You can break a window, guy. You just gotta try hard enough. I can't use the chisel with that. Um. Minerva Stroheim Good Soup, Baroness of Borscht. I think we gotta talk to the barkeeper from the if. I can't use the book. I can't use the book with that. Let's try a uh, uh, quick. Well, I can't use the book with that. I'm. I thought we'd discover some uh, info with about those poetry books. Was we not? If you're right. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Hmm. They're like, Hey, brother! I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, huh? Uncle Griswold, it's me. Don't you recognize me? Uncle yes, that one. Me. Don't you recognize me? Recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? I always choose. I don't think they are, it matters, but... I don't think it matters either. Just choose one. Um, you want to be hearty uh, hairy, beef? hairy beef and potato. Hearty beef and potato. Hearty beef and potato? Oh. I come from good Irish stock. Hmm. I don't recall having any relatives with that name. I could just talk about good soup history all day. Oh. How about that first fateful journey made to the Caribbean? Oh, you mean the one that... Baron Salmon Bisque de Good Soup began in 1621? Exactly. He landed on Scab Island with just a spoon and a dream. In just four short years, he had formed the largest chain of all soup restaurants in the Western Hemisphere. By 1635, he had driven the entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean and had a restaurant empire that spanned the globe. Actually, the Van Salads were not driven out until 1637, and the Good Soup chain of restaurants and resorts never did become popular in the South Pacific. Yes, we are. Right. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, of course, whatever. But the history well, I say is better because I like, like it more. You were right. Welcome back to the glorious name of Good Soup. I'm uh, um, honored. Honored. And as a Good Soup. You're welcome to every benefit the name provides. Instant prestige around Blood Island. A 10% discount at any of the good soup resorts in the Caribbean. And, of course, medical, dental, and a 401k. And the best thing of all, if you should happen to drop dead, you will be buried in the extravagant good soup family crypt. What is the it's foreign... It's as if all my dreams have come true. Foreign 1k? What? 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 What is he talking about? What's a, what's a 401k? Does it bring any bell to you? I, I know I know what a 401k is. I know what a 401k is. What is, what is it? Yeah. So it, it, it's more in America, but... Um, a 401k is basically like insurance and investment. So, so basically, what? Uh, so like, when you're working a job, um, and and you're trying to pay for like insurance or whatever, or you're trying to set some money away. Basically, what a four hundred one k is is as much money as you put away from your paycheck 
in, into, a, into a separate like account, or li li like the 401k, the, the, uh, your employer will match that amount. Up to a certain point. So let's, let's die, I guess, after meeting my long-lost uh, uncle. Time to die. Oh no, my uh, my nephew is dead. Oh dear, he's had a sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. Uh, well, I don't think he we experienced a sudden relapse of death. Yes, yes don't think that he um, dead. Burial. It is my solemn vow. Young, hearty beef and potato <laughs> shall be buried in the good soup family crypt. All right. Ominous. Oh yeah, not about that. That's a joke. Hey. There's a hole in the ceiling of this crypt. I think I might be able to squeeze through. Look at that. Wow, it's a tunnel that opens on a deep, dark forest. It looks familiar somehow. This is the first game. As if I've seen it in a dream. Or maybe it's... I don't know. Great jumping monkeys! A terrifying horde of stunningly rendered rabbit jaguars. They're coming right at me! Whew. It's a good thing I couldn't get through that hole. I'd be done for. Well, this is the one of the first e game. One games. of the Easter eggs. Yeah. That's that. That's cool. It's like the lost wood. Yeah. Ooh. Yikes! Freaking ghost! I ain't afraid no ghost. I best to make me feel good. Feel it, feel it. Um. At, at least we know the same song. Oh, Bustin' makes me you. feel good. Bustin', 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 bustin'. Austin. Runes. Um, like uh, uh, Montreal Archie has a rivalry with uh, Bustin' Bruins. Oh, oh, the Canadians. Yes. Yeah. Like, um... Wasn't the case lately? A lot of teams have rivaled at the Bruins. Yeah, but like, uh, well, I'm not a pro from any measure, but like, even if they were the first in their um, alignment, um, and we were the last, we could still beat them for reasons. Like, we could lose every goddamn game, but we won't lose pro to the Bruins. <laughs> the power of hate or you something. Can't, you can't lose to the Bruins. Um, well, they, they, they win the Stanley Cup one year, is so. I'm just stuck with a shitty-ass fucking uh, uh, Canucks. My condolence. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. Who are you and what are you doing here? Going to the light. Hey, nice ring. How do I get off this script? Hey, That's nice it. ring. I wonder I wonder what we can do hey, with that. Hey, nice ring. <laughs> Was it something I said? I hate this ring. It's been passed down from mother to daughter in the Good Soup family for generations. It was to be my wedding ring until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. Where's the diamond for your ring? It's gone. He took it. Who took it? My love. My honey cakes. My widow schnoobums. My LeChuck. LeChuck is your schnoobums? He pried the diamond from its satin during the rehearsal dinner. Oh, what a fool I was. He told me he was taking it out to get some fresh air. Man, if that if if there's a woman in the world who is blind to red flag, it's this one. It's 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 definitely gonna be her, yeah. So where did the, did the diamond? Where did the Chuck take the diamond? Oh, we actually. Chad, the fiend. 
He sold it to the smugglers of Skull Island. It's just so humiliating. I could just die. Okay. Um. Since you're uh, not, not using it, can I have your engagement band? This ring will remain on my finger until I have a wedding band to replace it. It was worth asking politely. This is just a Oops. shade too creepy for me. I'm leaving. That wasn't what I wanted. Uh, hi. Hello again, handsome. Wait, what? Well. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm engaged. Technically. Technically. Really? But my fiance is is now a, pi a pile of gold, so yeah, all options she, are on the table. Well, and and she technically didn't answer the question because you know the uh, the cursed thing thing, but uh, that's my time. So how do I get out? How do I get out of this crypt? There's no way out of this crypt for either of us. I must haunt this lonely tomb until I've married a man I truly love. And you can't leave because the door is locked. Yeah. Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Mini Good Soup, last in a long line of eligible Good Soup debutantes. I was buried here exactly one week after my wedding day. A wedding day that never came. What happened? I was the Belle of Blood Island. How many people can claim that? Oh, how the lads adored me. I was courted by the richest, most handsome men in the Caribbean. But all my suitors bored me to tears. I wanted someone dangerous. I wanted a pirate. By the way, what do you do for a living? Flooring inspector. Oh. Then one day, a real pirate sailed his ship into the bay. I fell for him instantly, and we became engaged. But he left me standing at the altar, and I died of a broken heart. Wow. That bites. Oh, I know. I, I, I can't help but to think about, um, you know, in the Pirates of the Car Caribbean, every time they do something, like, bad, they, like, turn to each other and say, Pirates? Right. So that's like I can help to think of LeChuck leaving with her diamond from the wedding ring, left her at the altar and say, Pirate. Arr. So well uh... Were there any other suitors you found attractive? You mean besides LeChuck? Well, <laughs> there was one I could have fallen for. Young Charles de Goulash. He had such a radiant smile. What happened to him? You know, it's funny. I don't know. He checked into the hotel one night and I never saw him again. You, you get, uh, you can add one plus one? I definitely can. That is uh, not where I was expecting that to go, though. Full of surprises. So, up into that young man you like so much. Well, she said that already. I think it's gonna loop. Go into the light, me. We asked that already. We asked that already. We asked that. So, go into the light. If only it were that easy. I'm afraid I can never leave this crypt until I marry. Are you attached? <laughs> Engaged, actually. <laughs> what a shame. You sure have pretty eyes. Oh. I see, I see. What is his name? Um, one of the Ghostbusters had like a wet dream about a ghost. Forget the name of the actor. I know he's selling vodka nowadays. You know who I'm talking about? Yes. Um, I like, don't think it's like Bill the, Murray. No, it's the. the uh, I, I, I do not. I do not know the scene you're talking about. 
the fatter one, you know? Yep. Yep. I forget his name, but I, I saw a John Tron episode where he talked about this guy selling vodka. Really fun. Uh, so let's finally... I'll just check back in with you later. Can I... Morbid. Mm, no. Oh, we go to the left. Uh, it's the crowbar. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it? Is it you, Morty? Morty, is, is that you? This is going to nah. Where are you, Morty? Ah! Oh, I'm not going to do that again. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. Stop scaring me like that. So I did scare you? Really? Well, startled is more like it. Oh. B but startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Yes, God, it means we're dead. Together, we could walk among the living and well, that's totally what we're gonna say, Stan. So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. Something like that. Hey! I don't want to get caught up in a conversation with Murray right now. I can't use the crowbar with that. Don't judge me. <laughs> um. So let's look at that crack. Hey, that guy. Right. Okay, I know exactly what to do. I let you. Um, I let you guess. Okay. We're in the and this is the. Okay. I look at that model. It looks like he's writing a horror novel. It's called The Grog That Drank People, part one of a three-book cycle. I wonder why trashy media always comes in threes. Oh, uh, uh, there's a... Um, the, the only thing that he can reach is this lantern, but I'm pretty sure... I can't reach. That's it. So we need to reach that lantern somehow. So here if we... only we had an arm to help us ex to reach further. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? Ah, uh, then I remember the next part. Um, it's a bit tricky, so... Nah. Uh, no ventry lucky book, so... Hey, mister! Help! What? Who's there? Who said that? Who's scaring poor old Mort, the grave digger? There's been a horrifying mistake. I've been buried alive in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. This joke has gone far enough. You kids should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no joke. I'm really trapped in here. Crazy kids with your long hair and your Baroque music? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Could my shadow be on your wall if I wasn't in the crypt? You can't fool me with that old shadow trick. I read all about it in The Spark of Madness. Young ruffians use a false shadow on the wall to lure an old man out of his home so they can rob him. You must have read the same book. Well, I'm on to your wily tricks. So scat! Oh, I remember. Okay. I'm gonna go sulk in the darkness now. Have a good time. Yeah, it's 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 a bit tricky. Murray, do your stuff. Okay. Boo! Look at that. 
Ooh, shit. Spooky. Mortal fool, release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free, or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. <laughs> and never more will you be able to find socks that match. All right, hang on. I'm coming. Great work, Murray. I... I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made me omnipotent! <laughs> Uh-oh. It's uh, gone to his head. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. There. Well, it's since open. he's hall head... I don't think there's no point in using the... taking the lantern anymore. Good soup is food. I'm still trying. You probably say, oh, no, 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 no use, uh, no light, whatever. And it's useless now that it's out of oil. So I, I bet you could never have guessed that that what you need to do, use the Murray's call on the lantern that you drop on the... No, I was not expecting the it to scare the crap out of the poor groundskeeper. There sure are a lot of skeletons in here. Uh-oh. Quick, pull the head off one and stick me on top of the spine! I don't think I want you walking around freely, Murray. Oh, please! I'm getting out of here. Well, Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Where'd he go? Well, the vanishing skull. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. Well, time to cash in. I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. No, honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yes. yes. <laughs> Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy. No. no. <laughs> then it appears that you're just wasting <laughs> my no. time. Run along and play now. I'm trying to run a business here. Nice try. Um, so we need some kind of proof of death. Hmm. Hmm. Ominous. I had a hard enough time getting out of it. Hmm. Back from the dead again. Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? Eh, you guys Again, nobody. A good story. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you saw the movie Jurassic Park? Of course. Of course. So, you, a part I really like is... Shh, don't say my name out loud. Johnson. Johnson is there. Johnson is there. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody uh, cares. So, do you happen to have um, some kind of uh, proof of my death, please? Hmm. Hmm. I'm uh, off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I cannot. Oh. So let's can, let's try hitting um can do that now. Are we is, is there like another room we can enter now that we're a part of the family business? Like a back room or something? Team Rocket blasting up again. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. 
come in. I was just... Charles? Charles de Goulash, is it really you? Minnie, it's been so long. Oh, Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. Really? Why, you look exactly the same. Oh, Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our families say if they knew we were alone together on such a romantic night? Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. Elope? Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Oh. Marry me. Even in death, you can avoid Charles. family drama. Yes, a thousand times. No, no, you cannot. Family drama then will follow you me, everywhere. Love. Did you saw the um, the statue in the background like in shock? Like there was a statue like an angel like that and she was in shock. Oh, so, ching. We take and the ring. I can't use the crowbar with that. Uh nothing like a good old good old grave robbing. Grave robbing. But no. Oh. Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? Yeah, uh, nope. Nope, she's not on Plunder Island, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> then scour the seas, you ossified rats! Hunt them down, then bring them to me. Find me Guy Rush Drinkwood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. But bring me my bride. And more s'mores! Curse those And more s'mores! Enough slaw with Oh, slaw. Du chou. La salade du chou. So... Ah, we need a proof of that. How uh, does it call in English? Does it work for me? The paper that say that someone died. Oh, death certificate. Yes, that's 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 what we were looking for. A death certificate. Where where can I find that? Check my. Maybe there's something in there. Okay. Um. Is there is there like another room we can get to in the uh, in the um hotel, like a back room or something? Well, we have access to all the rooms. There's those two rooms. There's. Oh, maybe. You're so smart. Here it is. Yeah, I was gonna say the room we got the cheese in. Yes. Like I remember that cabin is like. Oh, probably full of uh, document that is too complicated for me. So yeah, so here's my death certificate. So now we have to go give that to the de uh, to the salesman and be like, "Oh, he died. Give us money." So that. this hereby certifies that hearty beef and potato good soup met his demise at least once on Blood Island. At least once on Blood Island. Maybe more? We just aren't sure. Well, 
I guess if I'm we, uh, cashing in this insurance policy. Uh, but this is a like life you can die insurance several policy. Times you collect you when the policyholder dies. I'm dead. I really am. Do you have any proof that you're dead? As a matter of fact, smart guy, I've got your proof right here. A death certificate. Well, this must be some kind of mistake. Uh-uh, it's right there in high res black and white. I died. Give, Give me a lot of money. money. <laughs> fraud. <laughs> Insurance fraud. Insurance fraud is great. Well, hmm. It looks like I'm left with no choice but to acquiesce. No, just, just give me my money. That's what I mean. I guess he's French too. Is it, um, oh, thanks. Like, I guess he's the um, Like when you, you, you say yes with your head. Like, it's accuracy. Okay. So, I have a lot of money. <gasps> Insurance I wonder who wants money. a lot of money. I wonder who wants a lot of money. Uh, now that I know that I can double click, my life is way easier. <coughs> Jesus. I'd Sorry. like to ride out to Skull Island, please. All right, let's go. You know what? I think I already know what we're going to do with this. Let's, let's play poker. Let's and let's play. win. And let's win. And Because they, they cheat. Why can't we? Yes. Okay, I'll play you for the diamond. There is uh, definitely a trend the game. in well, that game. Where very much. you never sure, win by playing that. fair. This is never. a lot of money. I better only give them nope. part of it. Never. Have you ever played poker before, Mr. Threepwood? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> then I'll give you a brief explanation. The game is the simplest variety of five card start. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, I won't make you listen to me coughing. Hand. If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? Of course, let's play. Well, there is no... There's... Uh, none of them... As far as, I can, as far as I can throw you, you love life crook. Of course I trust you. <laughs> Let us begin. No it doesn't ways, say no what ways. we want. Take a moment to look at your cards. So, we play the five tarot spades, cards. Three of hearts, four of Because clubs, it's of five of a kind. King of diamonds. What a terrible hand. The five tarot cards, because they're kind. five of a kind. Right there. Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. <sighs> You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. Five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I'm talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get, I get it. it. <laughs> whether or not you can beat a pair. That's pretty uh. clever. Now, now, gentlemen. Let's not be too hasty. <laughs> There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiot! You blew out the lights! I got the diamond. Not for long, you little... Don't! Hit him, not me, you cretin! Who are you calling a fool? There he goes! Get him! Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. Let's keep battle. There's just one thing I need to do first. Really? What's that? Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Help! Help! Ah! Wow, that got dark. Nobody can die in the LucasArts game anyway. Good luck on the rest that of the That just got dark real fast. Holy shit. What? You can't mean. I'm afraid it's so. not dead, don't worry. This work is too dangerous for me. No one can I'm going die. To find a more stable, even even the big bad guy cannot die. Resurrect. 
on Scab Island. Well, you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere. Somewhere. Beyond the rolling waves. Hmm. Farewell, good friend. Well, you are the world's greatest church. <laughs> oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by northeast. You can't miss it. Ah, thanks a bunch. Ah, whoops. Uh, well. I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass like properties for a short time. Whoops. Oops. Oops. That's not gonna be fun. Oh, so now we can do that. Kind of, kind of a big detail you just left out there, guy. He forgot. Oh, that's so sad. So now we have a complete. So now we gotta give. The, we gotta give that to Elaine. But meanwhile, on Monkey Island. Uh oh. They get submerged in lava. That's how we create the uh, undead army. Ah, Smart, if you ask me. For my army of the undead. Yes, it's a bit like in Pinocchio. Now, how goes the search for my bride to be? A dead donkey instead. Where's Dingy Dog? I found him. I found him. <laughs> oh golly, oh gosh. <laughs> That's right. Where? Uh, they're on Blood Island, sir. Get them. Oh no. He's coming after us. Whoops. Are you all right? Guybrush? Where? Where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be yep, fine. Yep, no worries. Just fine. Oops. Just fine. Oops. And then a bunch of skeleton got chaos. I was looking at my stream. That be well spoken, pet. But save your breath, lass. You'll be needing it for when you scream. I do. Where, where are we? Don't you be remembering this place, Freepwood. It was not long ago that I trapped you here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, I can remember. I've seen this place before. It's some terrible nightmare. It was no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Uh... Oh no. It can't be. But it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. I, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend, why have you brought us here? There be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I be intended to torture and kill ye. And I'll be given Elaine. A treasure. Ah, you're wasting your time, LeChuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with you. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood, when I tell thee that Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves. Mm -hmm. Yipe. Well, shit. Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh. She loves me. Does not. I guess we can keep Anyway, that. Elaine really loves me. Does not. Does two love me? Does not. Does two infinity? Does... Uh, ah! 
Curse you and your diabolical right. debate skills. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did, down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all, immortality. But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> uh. Granted, the people may find me a bit unapproachable now, and the smell does take a while to get used to, but it'd be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. That's how I call my loins. The nether region. Uh... Say <laughs> even more. But if you kill Elaine, won't she hate you even more? Aye, at first. But soon she'll be understanding what a grand gift eternal life be. And besides, the dating pool be surprisingly small when you're the living dead. She'll just have to give me another chance. Hmm, it does sound smart though. Sort of, but in a very flawed way. Yes. This whole amusement park, why? The Big Whoop Carnival was my most brilliant idea. Once I had the power of Big Whoop at my command, I could make Elaine mine at last. I see. But again, why an amusement park? I'll be getting to that. I knew Elaine would need a little coaxing, and that I'd be needing an army. A horrible army of the undead. Okay, but why an amusement park? Are you going to let me finish? I'm not talking just to hear myself talk, you know. You're right. I've been rude. Please, go on. I've Everyone been knows rude. that the life of a seaman yep, is I've a been long, rude. Go on. hard, lonely one. Sailors spend months longing for just a few days' leave. And you know what they're looking for as soon as they get into port. Eh? Woman. Yes? Yes. <laughs> a family oriented fun park. Ah. Oh, that. Ah. <laughs> Of course. They come to take a ride on the giant roller coaster, the Great Monkey Mountain. They reach the top of the highest peak and then hands in the air, screaming like monkeys. They plunge down the slope into a great stream of lava. That doesn't sound the least bit fun. Aye, it's not. In fact, it's downright unpleasant. But when they reach the other side, they're fitting warriors for my skeletal army of the dam. Uh, it's almost I like won't. we just watched that happen. Yes. Um, <clears throat> all parentheses. Um, do you know Ada, uh, the, the, the YouTuber Ada, Adam ruined everything? Adam no, I don't. Oh, Ad no, um, Adam I think everything. so, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You do like uh, stuff when you uh, contradict like uh, popular belief and explain the fact. Uh, one of those are that women in the Wild West was uh, weren't, yeah, weren't um, like as helpless as it seems. Um, back in those days, like there were there weren't uh, a lot of women in the new continent. Like a bunch of there, a uh, bunch of people were just men working in a uh, mine and those kind of thing, and they were ready to pay big buck only to see a pair of woman undergarments. And when women realized yep. that, they started the uh, open brothel and the like and make a whole lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. More money than the men that were. Uh, Paying them actually, and um, with that money they built school, they built hospital, they built general store, and even church, which is a bit uh, contradictory. But anyway, and uh, so yeah, money uh, women are not uh, helpless uh, as we thought. No, 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 they were not. They were not. I bet they can even. Uh, like uh, a man to protect them if 
you know, other men doesn't want to pay them. Like, exactly. Bodyguards. So, yeah, that, that was my parenthesis. So, I'll how did fine. you find Big Whoop? That'd be a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Does the torture start after we're done talking here? Aye. Well, go on then. Back when I were alive, Elaine despised me. No. No. No, 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 it's true. I can see that now. She didn't like me at all. But I were determined to prove me worth to her, you see. So, I set sail to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. After, before or after you stole the diamond from that poor good please. What is the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island. I could tell you, but I'd rather make you guess. <laughs> I'll let you choose. It's made from people? This is the green Soylent reference. Yeah, so Soylent green reference, yeah. That it's made from people? I have no idea what you're talking about. No, it goes much deeper than that. It's an ancient oh God. secret. Deeper than made of people? Guarded, uh, by the natives and uh, pirates who happened to... You don't even know the secret of Monkey Island, do you? No, not really. All right, then. Let's get on with your story. A few days after setting sail, my ship was caught in a terrible typhoon and was torn apart. I would have drowned, but some friendly sharks found me and set me ashore on Blood Island. There I was, marooned, with and no sharks. hope of winning Elaine's heart. I thought me luck had run out. But one day, a ship made port at Blood Island. Twas the ship of one Captain Marley, Elaine's own grandfather. I struck up a conversation with Rum Rogers Sr., first mate on the ship. And for the price of a few drinks, I learned that they had the map to the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Although I had no ship and no money. Hold on. I let you choose. I think they're all the same. Yeah, I think so. Um, can I sit down? Both my legs are going to sleep. Can I sit down? Both my legs are going to sleep. Although I had no ship and no money. I planned to beat Marley's crew to the treasure and take it for myself. I didn't have the money to buy a new ship, but I still had my greatest uh, asset. That's the, where the healing... Uh... The ability to kill bugs just but by breathing. I still had my greatest asset. That uh, indefinable oh, chunk charm. Yes. One of the rich young debutantes on Blood Island was helpless against it. After a week with me, she would have followed me to the grave. Unfortunately for her, she didn't get the chance. I pried the diamond from her family's engagement ring and sold it to some cutthroat smugglers for the cost of a new ship. You scoundrel. You scoundrel! Hmm, I've been called worse. With me new ship, I easily overtook Marley's crew and beat them to Big Whoop, which just so happened to be here on Monkey Island. I'm still confused about the carnival. Then ask me! As designer and founder, I can answer all your questions. How did you build an amusement park on a deserted island? The process begins with a winning design team. I scoured... Of course it does. ...looking for the best and brightest artists, engineers and creative people. After a lengthy period of intensive recruitment, intimidation, <laughs> and murder, I had my team at and work murder. slashing and burning acres of old-growth timberland on Monkey and Dinky Islands. That must have been back-breaking work. Aye, that it was. Fortunately, hundreds of men were lost to malaria, wild animals, or construction 
Accident. <laughs> Accidents. How do you power all the rides? That be a good question. As he may already know, the power of Big Whoop be derived from its position as an infernal nexus, binding our world with the unholy manifestation of Doom evil energy. itself. Well, of course. If you play, like if you play Doom, uh, Doom Eternal, it can't be lasting forever. Basically, that That's why it be our job hell. to conserve its demonic yep. power wherever possible and look to alternative power sources. That was such a good game. <laughs> Solar? No! We tap our greatest natural resource! Monkeys! My word! Hordes of ruthlessly trained monkeys are hidden away deep within the bowels of the park. Bound to immense machines of destruction and family entertainment. That's so inhumane. Ooh, I'm glad you noticed. It be the little touches that make the difference. Mark my words, LeChuck. When I finally defeat you, I'll be sure to set cool. them all free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's using the energy of a bunch of monkey like in hamster wheel or something. The bastard. A bunch oh, of oh, hello. monkey power dynamo. Hmm. Who told you this was a good idea? You're insane! Maybe, Threefoot, maybe. But I did it all for love. I'm mad for you, Elaine, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'm still confused about the carnival. What happened to Captain Marley and his crew? Their ship arrived at Monkey Island a half hour after mine. But they were too late to stop me from claiming me prize. And they watched me pass through the port of the Big Whoop. Craven cowards that they were, the power of what they saw overwhelmed them. They fled the island in terror. Marley tore his treasure map into four pieces and gathered his crew around him. There was Rum Roger Sr., the first mate, Rap Scallion, the cook, and young Lindy, the cabin boy. Marley gave each a piece of the map, keeping one for himself. I, I guess this is the, they promised the, the to guard of the those map pieces something. with their lives. Must I be. saw to it that they kept their promise. They were the only people alive to know about Big Whoop. What fate befell Captain Marley? I ambushed him while he was racing in the America's Cup. I boarded his ship and decided to let him determine his own fate. He could grant me his blessing to have his granddaughter's hand in marriage, or he could suffer a death more horrible than any of his crewmates. Well, what'd he say? Actually, he said quite a few things. Oh, the pain. Stop it, you're killing me. Some other things, I forget them all. I left him for dead and sent his ship into a whirlpool not even the most accomplished captain could escape. What happened to Rum Roger Sr.? He was taking a bath in his cabin near Fat Island, drinking rum and eating toast, as he always did while bathing, when the toaster mysteriously fell into the tub with him. Shocking. His son inherited the map piece, but was too much of a drunkard to understand its importance. <laughs> what happened to Rap Scallion? Important lessons here today. Rap Don't Scallion eat toast in the bed in the bath. Fire in his weenie hut on Scab Island. That's I'm pretty right. sure the toaster weren't to electrified in those I days. But so eh. You never know. Guybrush. Guybrush. Oh, I'm sorry. I was miles away. What were you saying? I knew about Rap's absent-minded tendency to leave his gas burners on. So I arranged for a fully lit cake to be delivered to him on his 35th birthday. Ha <laughs> ha! You can hear the explosion as far as Booty Island. 
That's horrible. Steam and weenie indeed. What became of young Lindy? The, the monster. Boy? Fearing for his life, he came to me and begged for well, mercy. Well, guy was pretty In return for not revealing the location of Big Wolf, so I let him live. As a sign of me, I mean, gratitude, natural I gave him a point. fortune, which he used to build Yeah, it is natural selection at that point. Once he had grown accustomed to his wealthy lifestyle, I returned to collect me debt. I delivered to him an account so demonically ill-conceived that it was doomed to fail. This is evil as fuck. Gangrene and honey. Within a month, he was penniless and insane, a broken man. He sold everything he owned and got so desperate, he fell in with a traveling circus. He was killed when he was shot from a cannon without a helmet. No one could be that desperate. You're unbelievably ghastly and wretched. Ooh, thanks. I get enough of your evil story. Let's get I've heard enough of your evil stories. Let's get this over with. But there'll be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. See, I'm ignoring you. Ah, you'd better listen. La 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 la. La 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 Very well, Freeport. If you're going to act like a child, I'll help you get in the mood. I think uh -oh. you deserve a timeout, young man. Eep. And now we're a kid. <laughs> I think. It's not locked. Your plan was flawless, LeChuck, except for one minor detail. That will be your downfall. <laughs> one minor? It's pretty major detail. Hey, it's morning. He's taking Elaine on his roller coaster of death. I've got to reach her before she becomes his undead bride. What's happened to me? Head foggy. Can't think. Mind swimming. Must concentrate and rescue Elaine. I've got to save Elaine. But how can I save Elaine when I'm just a little boy? Oh, if only I could think straight. Must clear my mind. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Wolf Carnival, little guy. Come on over here and meet your old pal, Dingy Dog. Oh, for crying out loud. Did, did you get the, the, the int? It just, it just tell you what you need to do. You must clear I, your mind. Yeah, so I think we need to make another... Uh, yes. Another... We don't have it anymore, unfortunately. Uh. Well, we need our head to be clear, so we, um... Remember your recipe? It's one paper. We need the hair of the dog that bit ya. Yes. One egg and pepper. Yes. So... So... That looks... I see a dog that can bit ya. Did this look dog-like to me? Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Oh, hey, look. Evil skull. <laughs> now that's not very nice, little boy. I need your air. What can I? Try talking to him. Yikes. He looks a lot less cute and a lot more huge and terrifying in person. How can I win one of these fabulous prizes? Well, that's easy, <laughs> matey. If I can't guess your weight or your age, you get to pick what you want. What's the catch? <laughs> There's no catch, it's just that easy. <laughs> Look at... Bet you can guess how old I am. I'll bet you can't guess how old I am. <laughs> bet you I can. A little fearsome buccaneer like yourself must be seven years old. Ha! Wrong. I just so happen to be 20. <laughs> well, do you have any proof for your old pal, Dingy Dog? You calling me a liar? <laughs> you bet I am. <laughs> I have my proof right here. Scum Actors Guild membership card. Guybrush Threepwood, age 20? 
Uh, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Pick your prize. Guess what we need to take? Anchor? Yeah, the anchor, yeah. Give me that anchor. Well, take it away, son. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your stay here at Big Whoop. Who's a talking skull? Look into your heart. I'm the prize you really want. What? What? You picked the anchor? Well, it's a really nice anchor, Murray. Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe you picked that stupid anchor instead of me. Oh. What good is a dumb Can we get a pie? Anyway? Yeah, it's meringue pie. You know what's the main it's ingredient of meringue? Oh, it, no, uh, I don't know. It might be egg. I'm it is totally skull. egg. So... After all, now we just need pepper and yeah. hair of the dog that bit you. Well, wait, 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 wait. We, Take the stupid anchor. We don't have uh, the meringue yet. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I just want one of those pies. Yeah? Well, I just want out of this stinking rat head. Life's tough, kid. Cope. You would have made a lousy undead monster anyway. Okay, so do you see what's the point here? I'm going to wait for an owner who understands my need to bring fear and pestilence on the likes of you. As, a, as entertainment. Get out of here! Before but if there was the to be something else in a pie other than like meringue, a a I don't know, maybe like an anchor? I want to shoot the cannon! I want to shoot the cannon! Not right now. Oh, but I want to see the cannon fire! Be cheeks, half pint. Look, man, I pay your salary. You want me to tell the Chuck you've got unhappy kids running around here? Okay, okay, you little. Super <laughs> dead. And someone like. Did you just hear something? Older no. buddy. Weird. Maybe it's the acoustics no? of that smelly giant head. Shut up, kid. Yes. Someone pulled the body out there. So. If you value your life, mere mortal, you will flee before Murray, scourge of the living, and uber skull of the underworld! <laughs> yoo -hoo, stinky Mr. Rat! Hey, get out of there, you little punk! What are you gonna do about it, vermin boy? This'll teach you! In the pocket. So, ingredient number one. In the pocket. In the pocket. We have meringue pie. Hmm. I. Yep. So, um, the only thing I can think of for the dog is. I mean, we have a dog. Can we do anything to him? Can we piss him off? Can push him. I'm not gonna warn you again, kid. Push him again. You're really starting to bug me, kid. Again. All right. <laughs> that does it. You're going down, little punk. Oh, he, no, he bit me. Hey, give me back that hair, kid. You're ruining the suit. Well, that's the second... Now we That's number two. Hmm. What? Pepper mill? That's it? You, you just... Just let me take it. Well, that's... That, was well, that doesn't need more seasoning. Well, that doesn't need more seasoning. Hmm. Okay. Now we need something to mix these three in. Time. Like oil and water. Oh, I know. Can we get a, maybe get like what a cup or something cone? Like a snow cone? <laughs> yes. What kind of cones did you ask? Why, I have every kind imaginable. I have the most distinct type of snow cones in the world. In fact, my cones are so original, so inventive, and so <laughs> unique that most are completely inedible. 
let me list some for you. I have sweet cones, meat cones, cold cones, mold cones, bold cones with lime, cones with slime, <laughs> veggie cones, wedgie cones, hedgy cones. I used some of my neighbor's edge in that one. Cones with spice, cones with lice, berry cones, hairy cones, dairy cones, and the Christmas, oh, 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 merry cones. So, what do you think of that? Hmm. A lot of cones. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. <laughs> Bye now. Hey, it's free. That's great. No. Now I think we mix all that stuff in the Ooh, snow cone, yeah? Mmm. Peppery goodness. Apparently, like... Peppercorn. And the meringue. That meringue looks tasty. Then... Ugh. The pepper helps, though. Ah, brain freeze. So apparently, the ch curse is not a, is as bad as a bad hangover. Apparently. But once again, we're really cruising through. Oh yes. Too late for me to get out. Okay, this 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 one is uh. Where are they? Got a whole soggy paper cone. I don't think so. Hey, it's me and Chip. And Kim. Hello. I'm glad to see that I'm featured among the attractions here. Oh shit. Elaine! Ah! Wood is only you. Have you seen Elaine? She told me she was just going to powder her nose, and I haven't seen her since. I can't be believe when I fell for that one again. Now stand still, boy, so I can flame I think it's well deserved after what you did to the good soup girl. Oh, it's very well deserved. Uh-oh. Ouch! Wow! Too late for me to get out. Ah, shit. It's the kid and monkey. I had a feeling he'd turn up sooner or later. There. It's soaked in oil and... Cool. Those are Kega Brown. Oh no. Yes, but we need a flint to, uh, to light, light up the... Well, now that I think of it, he's throwing us fire, right? Maybe it's enough. I want to see the, the snow one. Hey, can we, can we give the bomb to him? It's every sailor's worst nightmare, the giant snowy ape. Oh, now I get, uh, now I remember. He won't, he I won't, think we just gotta wait for LeChuck to show up now. Yeah, no, it won't be enough. We need him to light this on fire. 
And that is I think all. we need something we yeah. Pepper mill, yeah. He will so we wait before he shows up. Because he will like shoot the ground on fire, not the the grill. If you've ridden me, Coaster, why haven't you been boiled in me molten pool of lava? Hmm. Elaine must have fiddled with me controls and rerouted the tracks. I she'll be the death of me yet. I mean, again. <laughs> but curse as if I can't help but love the little woman. I, 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 I can't believe I remember all those things wood. for years. Oops. Nope. Oh. Not fast enough. Ouch! Wow! This is the zombie version of the chop. Now he's in ghost form. I can't do that from here. Oh. oh no, it's LeChuck! Aye, Freepwood. It be me, your worst nightmare. You'll be sorry you ever set foot here on Monkey Island when I'm through with you. Uh. Oh no, he's dead, but no one ever dies in the LucasArts game. I wanna live forever, even as a zombie. Hey, this is my mutineer crew. Hey, the chicken. I can confirm. Can confirm. Chickens are that dumb. Run, mortal! But do not forget your arch nemesis, Murray. Mark my words, I shall return to haunt you. Okay. Do you hear me? I shall return. I don't think you made another one, did they? I think I think it is end yes. of the third game. There is, there is a fourth one, but it's like the bastard child. This is so unfair. Uh like I never played the fourth one. I never heard it the fourth one. Well that was fun. I enjoyed that. Yes. Although that was easy mode, and you had to somehow play the game to help you. I mean, back in my day, I had to find all those things by myself and without the internet, so... Things were that, was, hard. that was still pretty fun, dude. Things were hard back in the day when there weren't any internet. No kidding. No fucking kidding. Walkthrough weren't a thing. You, you, all you can do is like... Ask your friend, ask your mom, or your dad. Because they would know the secret to Monkey Island 3. That you've secretly gotta get the hair of the dog to bit you. And then you gotta and then you gotta make the make the feel good thing. And then you gotta mix it with the grog, because who who would think of that? Yeah, with the snow cone. Exactly. Like like that's fucking disgusting. Uh, but it's, but it's a cartoon game, which is wonderful. Well, 
I think if I remember correctly, I, I guess the snow cone part by myself because I just pushed the the dog just because I want to push the dog and then he bit me and when I received the hair of a dog that bit me, I, I clicked. I realized what I needed to do. Because in this game, you are rewarded if you are a dick. I'm now wondering, is there any post credit scenes? I don't know. It was fun, for sure. You want to... Uh, you think you want to try the art, art mode later, or the fourth one, or... Um... You, you not really. <laughs> good with that. You had enough of Monkey Island for a lifetime. I wouldn't say a lifetime. It's just I, I'm not I'm not someone to dive right back into the into a game and play it on a hard mode. I'm more of a uh, play it once, and feel good about it, and then come back to it later kind of guy. Well, that that makes sense because um, like that how the brain works. If you want that sweet sweet endorphin, you need uh, you need to let it simmer a little. But, but... I fucking love your French accent, man. The way, the way you say endorphin is awesome. Endorphin. Well, in French, we, we say endorphin. So, yes, my, my endorphin. Endorphin. But for the word that, like, I are exactly the same in French and in English, it's way harder for me not to have an accent. No, but it, it's cool because I like the accent. It gives a, it gives an interesting way on, on uh, pronouncing words. Endorphin. Endorphin. It's simply a matter of where you were raised and how you say it. I, me personally, I don't like that because I hate when like I heard French people having a terrible accent while well, trying my best not to have one, but sometimes just pop out by itself. Yep, and you can't help it. No, I can't help it. Uh, it's uh, really troublesome. Trying not to speak with an accent. Can be real difficult. It, it can be real difficult. This carnival oh. is great, Dad. It sure is. Oh, there is an anti after credit you know, scene. Rumor has it that the man who built this place is buried here. And they say that to this day, his frozen body remains in the tunnels somewhere beneath the amusement park. Yes, it is true. Don't go looking for him. That's it. And I... That... Well, that's... That's 90s game in a nutshell. 